My name is Adam, and I'm an engineer at National Instruments. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to teach the principle of superposition using NI Multisim and NI MIDAC. We're all familiar with the principle of superposition, therefore we realize it's a very dry and tedious concept to not only teach, but also to learn. Typically it revolves around multiple iterations of Ohm's Law and doing it with pencil and paper. However, there is a more interactive and a more interesting way for students to learn. We can start with theory in the classroom, we can then assign them homework problems using simulation on the computer, and finally, we can allow them to physically tinker with the circuits in the laboratory. Let's start off by looking at a circuit that we could solve using the principle of superposition. We can see that there are two power sources here, and we also have two voltage dividers. We would like to solve for the voltage VR here in the center. This is a perfect case of when we would use the principle of superposition. I'm going to start off using NI Multisim to simulate the circuit. I have already built the circuit with the two power supplies and the voltage dividers, and I have placed a voltmeter here in the center. I have also added two single pole double throw switches that will allow me to short out the power supplies during simulation mode. In order to start simulation, I'll simply click the run button. We can see that right now I have both of the power supplies active and with the overall voltage drop of 2.53 volts. Now, this is the total summation, but if I'd like to find out the individual contributions, I can short out one of the power supplies. We can see that V2 applies a positive 3.57 volts. I can then short V2 and apply V1 and see that it applies a negative 1.042 volts. And then again, when I add both of them together, the resulting power will be 2.53 volts. So this is an example of how you could use multi-SIM to assign a pre-lab assignment for the students to complete on their own time um, in their dorm room or in the lab. But what happens if we want to physically implement this? Well, we can use the NI MIDAC device with a breadboard device to simulate the circuit. But the same thing can be done on NI Elvis too. I have already pre-built the circuit with the voltage dividers, and I'm going to be using the analog output 0 and analog output 1 as my power supplies and I'll use analog input zero to measure the voltage drop, VR. In order to program the device, I will use NI LabVIEW. I have already developed a VI. It's a very intuitive front panel that actually allows me to overlay the controls and indicators directly on the image from before. When I run the program, I can apply five volts to V1 with V2 nulled out. And I can see again that it's, a, that it's measuring a 3.57 volt drop. I can then zero out V1 and apply 5 volts to V2, and I can see that it's a contributing a negative 1.02 volt drop. And when I put both of them on, I can see that the resulting voltage is 2.55 volts. Looking at the block diagram, we can see that this is very straightforward. Two tasks only requiring analog input and analog output. So that's how you would integrate NI Multisim and NI MIDAC into the teaching of the principle of superposition, allowing you to start with theory, then simulate, and finally prototype the board in the laboratory environment.